Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture of a star of some what and asked how you could draw that Corel Draw. I really, really had to look at it, but what we're going to do, let's move this out of the way. And I'm going to take a just a five sided star holding down the control button to make a perfect star. At this time, I'm going to make it like, well, let's make it a little bit thicker, make it 24 points. For this to work right, I think you've got to go to object and convert the outline to an object. I'm going to go ahead and make it gray. Now that is an object. So now what we can do, we can, it looks like it's skewed. So we're going to go to object and, or excuse me, yeah, object and perspective and add a perspective. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this right, but uh, it looks somewhere like that. Now I did forget a step. I need to take out this leg. So what we can do is left click, right click. <clears throat> and I should have already done it. I could have done it when it was a, um, a star. I could have just uh, unclicked those nodes and, and broke them off, but there you go. Same result. I'm gonna use the Smart Fill tool to fill it in. And what that did that made it made those little lines connect smart field tool just basically makes a new object we'll go ahead and turn it back to a a gray and i guess this perspective is pretty close oh you know what i did i, I took out too many legs um let me back up here i should have just taken this leg away so what we're going to do is take a another two point line and go from there. I'm going to go ahead and go straight down. Now we'll get rid of this line and we'll just delete that line. Now, same thing, smart fill tool to fill that in. And what that did that gave us that color or that shape. And the other way I might, if I have time at the end, I might show you what I would have really done first. Now we're gonna to go to the extrude tool and we're gonna grab it like right here, we're gonna extrude it. But I'm gonna go right here and grab this one and see how it made it quite differently. It made it more so like the shape. I'm gonna go break the screw group apart. I'm gonna select it all, I'm gonna give it an outline. Now this is broken in half so we can take this out of the way and that's actually the other part, which we don't really even need in this case. And then what we do, and he, they did say that they didn't care about the colors. Now, because we've got the extrude group broke apart, well, that should work. That's good enough. I'm gonna get rid of that line, all the other lines. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of that line. Nah, I can't because it's hooked to there. Now just take your smart fill tool and start picking colors. Whoop. Get the smart fill tool and let's go with, well, let's, what I did is I have it checked, uncheck it, change the color to blue. Whoop. Well, I guess I have to do it up here. Get your color swap, pick that and let's make that one blue. Let's make the next one green. Uh, let's make the next one a darker green. Let's make the next one red. So color in everything but that border um, is what I'm thinking. Let's do a pink. I'm not very good at color colors, but I'm filling in every bigger spot We'll do a different colored green. Now there's a little part right up here that we can actually fill in. So we'll grab the Smart Fill tool and let's do that burn orange. Now you need to decide what you want on the edges. And I'm gonna just go with black and see what it looks like. Whoop. There's only a few edges showing. I think that, well, there's one more right here. And of course, you could use whatever color you wanted. 
now, since I did say you don't need this one anymore, we'll just delete it. Because now we're going to fill in the outside edge. And, you know, you could use any color you wanted. Um, try to use a color we haven't used. Let's go with this dark purple. And take away the lines by right-clicking your mouse. And the only thing, they put a black box around it, which I've started doing a lot lately. It really makes stuff stand out. Go up to object, order, back a page. Now my black borders kind of blend in, but in a way it's kind of nice. It's still a group, so we can grab that and make it, we can make it white or make it, you know, blue. That looks pretty good. That's I did a little bit different than they did, uh, but that's all in the, you know, I could have skewed it up. So I'm gonna go through what I should have done at first. <clears throat> what I should have done is taken, so you have to go and convert it to a curve, get your shape tool and right, select both those and right click your mouse and break them apart. By doing that, you can delete that one leg. And then this this is the time you would make it that 24, 36 points, whatever you made it. Don't forget to go to object and convert it to a, or go to out, object, convert to an outline, make the outline black or gray. I, I found gray when you're extruding uh, actually works better. So we're going to go to object and perspective and add perspective. And I think they must have did it more like that. Um, you know, give it a little bit of weird shape. And then this is where you'd use the extrude tool. And if you click on this box, it gives you a lot uh, more detail. So we'll just move that back. And then if we right click, we got your outline. So you can actually see how thick the parts are. And if you wanted to do that, this one probably is going to work out better. But you need to go to object and break the extrude group apart. And what that's going to do is going to get rid of that line, which is really still there. And then just color them in from there. Anyway, and you could, you know, have no fill, but then you're going to see these backside lines. So you want that fill. Uh, so when you're smart filling them, uh, you can just go like that. And man, you could, I guess you could make it all purple. And let's see what it looks like. Grab and make the, um, let's make the outside edge a blue. Make the ends blue. And let's see what it looks like with a back, black background. Object, order, back a page. Looks pretty cool. I don't think it's as good as the color one because it breaks it up. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.